Hey, what's up guys? Slims right here bringing you part 2 of my Minecraft uh, server series. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up the uh, Citizens plugin for your server so that you can create and customize your own NPCs without having to install any mods into your server. So let's get started. I have my basic test server folder here and Citizens here. Link to uh, downloading Citizens will be on down in the description. And if you do not know yet how to make this file, uh, there will be a link to my previous tutorial in the description as well. So you are going to want to open your uh, folder, your uh, server folder, go into the plugins, and then you want to paste in the citizens plugin, and do run. Wait for it to uh, load up here. And it's as simple as that. It should be installed. As you see, it says citizens loaded zero NPCs. So you can just go into my server here. Right. And to make sure this is working, let's do slash pl. Okay. Hold on one second. I let me op myself. And before I die, let's get out of this water. Whatever I was doing out here. Alright, I will resume the video once I have everything uh, set up in Minecraft to show you guys just how you can use this mod. Or er, plugin. Alright guys, sorry about that. I have no idea why, but the uh, set spawn location was in the middle of nowhere. But now that I am set at land, to get started, you just want to do slash NPC create and then just put the name I'm just gonna put Steve alright then you see he has the regular Steve skin and uh, in advance I just wanna say I'm sorry I am recording this Minecraft with Camtasia so it will be a bit laggy um, and just as another demonstration you can do slash NPC NPC create archer and different names will give it different skins but if you give us some random name that it doesn't have a skin set with it will just give you the default uh, Steve skin so another I'll show you the uh, next simple command you do slash NPC remove space then the name and I'm sorry slash NPC select I cannot type it so slash NPC select and it should select the one that's closest to you I guess and then you can do slash NPC remove and it will remove the, the NPC that you have selected so now that we do, we're just working with Archer another command is slash NPC look close and I'm sorry guys um, I just have to remember whenever you're working with uh, NPCs you have to have that NPC selected so now we can do it, slash NPC look close, and whenever you go near him, within a certain radius, he will look at you. But now that I'm out of his radius, I'll come, but whenever I get into his radius, he will look at me. So, the next cool thing we can do, slash NPC equip, and, oops, so let's just get out some stuff. Um, iron, just in a regular iron sword, just for sake of example and then you want to have that selected and then you just right click on him and he will wield the iron sword which is very very cool and you just want to do slash npc equip again to get out of that editor now let's go on to the next npc editor do slash npc uh, text and you do this now you don't want to do slash once you do that you just type like add for instance and like Hello, I am a test for YouTube. Okay, so now he'll say, I, hello, I am a test for YouTube. But in order for him to start saying stuff, you want to do type close. And now you'll see, if you watch down in the chat box, he will keep messaging me about every 5 or 10 seconds. So we'll just wait for him to do it again, just to show you guys. And you see there, he did it. So the next thing is you uh, you can type range, space, 
and do 10 for instance and I'm sorry he will uh, begin talking to you within the 10 blocks away from him another thing you can do is uh, edit it'll give you all the different uh, text entries that you have with its ID so we can just do zero and then we can edit the, that entry hello this is a edited entry and now this hello I am a test for YouTube if we do edit again hello this is an edited entry so that is pretty cool uh, and one last thing you can do is remove I was typing zero zero okay I'm not sure what is going on here okay so you do slash you're not slash but you do remove again and then you can do zero and now you won't have anything to say so just do slash NPC text again and you will get out of that editor now another editor I would like to show you slash NPC NPC path and now click you can just click places and it will add waypoints and he will just start walking around so we can watch him so you, as you can see he is walking around and then if you can find it again you just have to right click and now he will just say stationary and then if let's just say a player in your server attacks him and you just set one waypoint or he goes to attack something else which I will show you how to do in future episodes so be sure to stay tuned for that um, he will return to that spot so that's cool also you can just do slash npc path again path to get out of that editor now this is a very very simple but a very cool uh, plugin that you can add for your server I highly recommend it if you do not want to get mods but aside from that guys have a nice day peace out uh, if you enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe and also be sure to stay tuned for all my uh, next and future minecraft tut tutorial videos aside from that guys have a nice day peace out